We're in the kitchen of Mountain Meadows Farm. It's early in the season, but Shannon said that they are harvesting kale, so she's going to make us some kale chips. Really, you can do it with any vegetable that you like, either a root vegetable or any kind of green you can substitute into kale chips. But kale is my favorite leafy green, so that's what we're going to work with today, and it grows great in the springtime here in Tennessee. So what you want to start with, was um, whether you get it from the grocery store or a farmer's market this time of year, you've got something that looks kind of like this. You want to remove the kale from the main stalk. So all you're going to do is rip small pieces away and think about it in bite-sized pieces. If you get big chunks, you just want to rip those in half. Okay, so um, I have actually pre-washed this kale today, but if you um, have not pre-washed your kale, it's easiest if you'll wash your kale once you've torn it in pieces already, so it'll be more like salad pieces. And so you'll just spin it dry, and after you spin it dry, you're ready to do the next step. Um, I'm going to use about two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil, and you just want to drizzle that right over the top. I've watched Rachel Ray too many times to measure it, I think. <laughs> so that's probably good. And then you just want to use either some kosher salt to taste, or I'm using some sea salt. Sprinkle right over the top. And then I've got some Parmesan cheese. Really, you could use any sort of hard cheese that you like, whether you like Pecorino Romano, or you like Asiago, whatever will work just fine in this recipe. After you put your ingredients on the top. All you need to do is mix it up lightly, just like you're tossing a salad. You want to go ahead and spread them out evenly on your cookie sheet because you're gonna pop them into the oven right after this and have your oven ready preheated at 375. I'm gonna pop these kale chips right into the oven and set my timer for 15 minutes. You really just want them brown just on the edges. So my kale chips have been cooking now about 15 minutes and let's have a look at them. Oh, they're sizzling. They look delicious. Let me grab the spatula and stir them up. Now you may want to get them a little more crispy or a little more soft. That's up to your taste so you can adjust that as necessary. But these look great. And I have some that I finished earlier, and they're quite crispy. So if you like them really crispy, delicious. 